Well, hello, Cloverleaf. Welcome to the construction site. I'm Dr. Kabilis. I'm here to show you the school. Uh, today is Friday, May 19th. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of construction going on right now. And we thought it would be neat, since it's all a hard hat zone, I can't give tours. But what I can do is show you the inside of the school. We have uh, some really neat plans for you here today, so you can kind of see what's going on with construction. But before we do too much of that, there's some very important people I want to introduce you to. Mr. Rowe, come on, get on camera. This is Mike Rowe. He is our Director of Buildings and Grounds here at Cloverleaf. Wave to the camera. Coop, come on over. This is Mike Cooper. He is our superintendent on the job. He is Lower the back. guy that's in charge of all this construction. Mr. Michael, come on over. Our videographer, Adam Michael. So, that being said, we're gonna um, we're gonna head inside and show you some of the sites, and uh, we'll hopefully follow up with more videos in the coming uh, months as we get ready to start the 24-25 school year in this new building. So let's go. Okay, so now we're in the main entrance of the high school. You just walked through the high school entrance. To your left is the main office. That's where you'll check in. That's where visitors and guests will be checked in. That's where the principal, assistant principal, office, school resource, uh, attendance, uh, it's all to your left. Directly to your right, before you even come into the main entrance, you'll be able to access our athletic office, uh, Mr. Walkup and his secretary as well. As you can see behind me, this is the main entrance with the gymnasium on our right. To the left over here is a courtyard and up on this wall right here, we're gonna pay homage to all 10 of our Cloverleaf communities. We have some neat pictures that are gonna be on that wall and we're excited for you to see it. Okay, here I'm standing outside of our high school gym, as well as the auxiliary gym. And as you can see, it is a big expanse. It's going to be divided. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a big uh, partition in between the two. So that's why it looks like such a big space here. But right past that wall is actually a third gym, which is gonna be our middle school gymnasium. So gym, 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 lots of gym space here at our new school. Okay, so this is the other main entrance. This is a little left of the high school entrance that we just showed you. This is the middle school entrance. It's also the auditorium entrance. To our right is the courtyard. This is gonna be a turf area. It's a beautiful space. I think our students will love it. You'll love it for homework, maybe an occasional lunch. There's a lot of uses for that space. Maybe your classroom goes there someday. I think you'll really enjoy that space. To our right, uh, my right, your left, is our auditorium. We're going to show you inside that auditorium, but our folks will come in this will be the entrance uh, on that middle school slash auditorium side. We think you'll like it. All right, now you are inside our auditorium. This is gonna be a 650 seat auditorium. Let me walk you through it really quick. Excuse me, we're contending with diesel fume, fumes. The roof is enclosed and they've got a bulldozer here moving dirt. That's probably not the safest thing, so we'll be quick. But over there is the stage, and you see how high the ceiling is. That's called fly space. That's so sets can go above the stage. Where that big lift is, is the stage height. Where that bulldozer is, he is actually about four feet higher than the grade's gonna end up being. It's gonna, the audience is gonna sit down below about four feet and then it's going to be stadium seating all the way up to here so we're so excited about this 
uh, Performing Arts Center. We think it's going to be one of the crown jewels of this school. And we think our community, our students, our parents, all everyone is really going to like this space. All right, you're going to have to use your imagination for this. I am standing on the first inside the first floor cafeteria of the high school. But you have to understand there's two main eating areas for our high school students. Right past this wall is our middle school cafeteria. So you got to kind of picture it past there and then where those dumpsters are or they're not dumpsters, they're actually storage for construction equipment. That's going to be our middle school wing, the main wing, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. What you can't see in the camera to your left, that's the entire performing arts wing. We've got the band room, the choir room uh, for high school, band choir for middle school, two high school art rooms, one middle school art room, all wrapping around the auditorium. We also have our food prep area on the first floor uh, here. We're not going to really show you much of that. There's not much to see right now, but you can kind of see how this is going to lay out. It's going to be neat to compare the before and the after, so enjoy. For all our Cloverleaf High School students, this past September we did a beam signing, and we told you that that beam was going to be seen in the new school, so we thought we would give you a sneak peek of that beam. This is down that auditorium hallway right before you get to the cafeteria. It's right up here. Mr. Michael's gonna show it to you here and you're gonna see how prevalent that is in this building. Middle school students, we haven't forgotten about you. We're gonna work on a future beam signing for you as well that will go in the middle school portion of this building. All right, so way back in the distance, is Route 224. So we're standing at the uh, side of the building that looks completed. So back there, I don't know if you can pick it out, is staff parking. There's gonna be about 100 parking spaces for staff members. They're getting ready to make the uh, asphalt road that goes around the school. And then about 60 feet from here is going to be the middle school wing. Uh, so. It hasn't been started yet, but they're gonna be laying footers for that, and you're gonna see that construction happen a lot this summer. All right, so now we're actually on the second floor of the high school. This is one of the spaces that you're really gonna to have to be in it to feel the space. One of the things that people keep saying is that this is not an institutional look, meaning classrooms on both sides. Our architects really broke up the space nicely here. Right behind me are some small group rooms. You know, sometimes students need extended time on tests or they need a small room to work with a teacher or a tutor. Those spaces are specifically designed for that. We've also got spaces out here where we'll have some soft seating for our kids. And then back here is a beautiful teacher's workroom. And Behind the camera is a whole line of classrooms. Uh, on the second floor, um, these are all 810 foot square foot classrooms. We'll show you one of those rooms. Uh, but right now, this is the second floor. All right, a lot of noise going on in the background. That's all right. We're still on the second floor. This is kind of an eating area. Remember I told you there's two places for high schoolers to eat their lunch. This is that second space. You've got to picture all sorts of neat uh, seating in this area. You can eat lunch, you can do homework. It's going to have a very college atmosphere. Big wall back here, there's a staircase that's going to come down here, taking the second floor up to the third floor. What you can't see right behind you is actually the second floor food prep area. You're going to be able to get like, oh my goodness, there is so much going on. You're going to be able to get like soups and salads. It's really going to be a neat atmosphere. And directly behind you are the best seats in the house to the gym. Mr. Miller calls these the loge seats. You can actually have these beautiful views of the uh, basketball court uh, from the second floor. So 
I'm sure people are going to be wanting to sit up here to watch games. Maybe we'll wrap off some tickets, but this is just a phenomenal space. I can't wait for you to see it. So we're only going to show you uh, a couple classroom spaces. This is an example. This is a world languages room. So this will be either, either Spanish or French uh, for the short term. Uh, obviously, we, we've got a long wall here, but there are windows actually on two sides of this room. What you can't see right behind you, there is a, it's called an operable partition. It combines or separates two classrooms. These classrooms are 810 square feet, which for most of you will be far bigger than the rooms you have. At the middle school, we have some classrooms as little as 400 square feet. The high school, the annex, very small classrooms. We do have some 800 square foot classrooms at the high school. These are all standard 810 square feet. Another thing you can't see in this room is the fact that one of the walls has a big hole in it and there is a uh, partition there as well. Our goal with this school is to make it as flexible of space as possible because we don't know what education is gonna look like in the next 75 years. However, this building is still gonna be here. So one of the things we wanted to give our teachers the opportunity to do was expand their learning space. So it's kind of like a garage door but it'll go up into the ceiling. The teachers will be able to expand that learning space out into the hallway. When you see the space, you'll understand more of how relevant that will be. Or teachers can leave the door closed and use it as a traditional four wall school space. The important thing is to consider the flexibility in the room. We want them to be as flexible as possible. All right, this is one of my favorite classrooms in the whole school. We're on the third floor, and what you have to picture is there's this beautiful window right here that overlooks our stadium. Right behind me is a big window that overlooks the roof of the uh, gymnasium. I wanted you to see this space right here, this about the size of a garage door. That's because this is that overhead door I was talking about. Like I said, a teacher can leave it down, or a teacher could raise that door, expand the learning area right here. Did I mention this is a high school social studies room? So I'm sure our high school social studies teachers are gonna be fighting over who gets this space right here. So I didn't wanna show you all the spaces in our first video. We're gonna leave you wanting more. Uh, this is just, we just scratched the surface for all the spaces that this school offers. So. We'll be excited to come back and show you more. I hope you guys have a great summer. Enjoy your time in the safest way possible. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you.